Hi, now in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to present your mock-up for your client to appreciate your work and your art. Okay, and so let's step into Photoshop. Now, I believe you have your Photoshop already opened. Also, uh, let's go and then this is the file, but it is password protected. I want you to watch this video to the end because I'm going to speak on a lot of stuff I don't want you to miss out on. And then also the password is going to be in the video guys it is going to be that i promise you if you watch this video carefully you will see the password okay so let's step into photoshop street forward now um the first thing we are going to do is um we are going to of course we are going to try to extract it right we'll right click it and then we'll go to extract here okay so you can see it i would like to delete this one and then um all right so um this is it i really like to delete this one as well so this is it okay so i'll double click it and then this is what we have all right so then the dimension is um six feet by nine feet six feet by nine feet and so you can see it right here and so your artwork has to be within that particular measure but if it's not you can resize it and try and tweak it for the client as well it's not really a big deal all right so um this is it it's two book over here and then the stack over here this is the book itself and then two this is the stack itself also over here as well all right so without further delay let's just jump into it let's continue now the book what we are going to do now is we're going to open it and then you can see a lot of stuff in there right now it is this and then it is this these two are what we are going to work on you can see because they are smart objects right now because they are smart objects it means you can double click it and it will open for you all right so you can see over your book spine and that is the spine over here and then book cover that is the cover over here so you're going to double click the spine and then we'll try and bring our spine in there now i have already designed this stuff already and i believe you also have a book you designed like that so this is the front cover this is the back cover and then this is the spine so i'll drag the spine into photoshop and then i'll release it in there now i'll try to resize it okay let's resize it guys make sure you resize proportionally okay or proportionate depending on the screw you went to <laughs> okay so we don't want your text or your artwork to be distorted in, sh in size and shape okay so this is it um, i believe this is it all right now control s to save it and then you can close let's copy it okay there's click on it control c to copy it all right now let's close it so now you can see it's showing over here and that is great okay now let's open this one that's the book cover itself and then let's bring our book cover in there drag it in there and then release it now you can see it fits perfectly it's because i use that exact dimension but if you don't use that exact dimension you can still um, you know try and then tweak it until you get the size that you are looking for all right so I believe this is okay Control s to save it and then automatically saves and then um, i can close it now you can see it's reflected over here nicely now we also have the stack one now you can close this one okay let's open the stack all right now you can see all of them are not smart objects except this one so this is the one that we can work with you can see it's it's gone it's back this is the one that we can work with okay now double click it do you remember we control c on the spine we copied it now is the time to use it control v it paste it nicely and then let's drag this here control v it paste it again um you want to drag it underneath it okay try and bring it here you want it to be in the middle in fact let's hide this one we don't want those text count users control v again control again let's drag this one this time here you want it to be in the middle of that control V again and then drag it there you want it to be in the middle of that okay now let's see uh, I feel like it's better it's quite good now you can tweak it or you can leave it like control S to save it and then once it's saved you can now close it and then you can see it reflected over here but here is the problem you can see that it is the name is turned it looks like the book has been turned upside down so the name cannot cannot really be read well 
So let's go back into it, double click it on the spine and then click here, hold shift and then click here. Now control T. Alright, and then you can go to um, let's see edit and then transform and then go to rotate 180. Great. Now you have it like that. And you can move it up a little bit. Enter. Now let's save it this time and then let's see. Now it saves, you can close it and then it reflects here also nicely like that. And so let's take a look at it. This is amazing. This is beautiful. Guys, this is how you are supposed to present your your flyers, your book covers, your stuff to people. Put them in a mock-up so that your, your client better appreciates it. Some clients, they need to see it before they can really appreciate what you are doing. If they don't see it in a mock-up, they don't really know how beautiful or how nice it is. And so all my flyers, all my book arts, all my music arts, all, everything I do, I try to put them in a mock-up for my clients to see. Also, we can come here. Let's close this stuff. Now we can come and then also change the background color a little bit. Now you can do that by first going over here. Studio, you can see studio background. Uh, let's go here. Let's go for solid color, and then let's pick a color in there. It works best but if you pick a color in there. Something like this is nice. You can even pick a more deeper color. Something like this is also quite nice. You can even go up a little bit of it. Um, you can pick this one as well you can pick that total white if you pick black like that it's difficult because nobody can really see the shadow but even this is quite nice i can pick some gray there as well let's see um see pure black is not really nice okay but i think i might stick with this or that you know it works and there may be even that okay all these works and then i'll click on okay then I'll click on um, Control Alt S or Control Shift S, you know, and then I would um, call it Book Cover. I'll save it twice. I'll save the first one to PSD format, and then the second one I'll save it to JPEG format. Okay, and then I can now send it to my client for them to have a look at it. Alright guys, so now guys, if you love this video, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel. Like I said, this is going to be in the description. The password has already been, uh, you know, displayed already. And so jump into the description, um, download it, and then use it for your next project. See you in the next video.